recently learned about this phrase called revenge traveling, and I am personally guilty of that because I have been doing a significant more amount of traveling than I ever did, and I'm pretty much making up for the three years I didn't really get to travel. But now, as things open up and traveling is a little, it's quite a lot easier. There are actually quite a bit of changes in this world, among which are visas. And I think I may have mentioned this in another episode, but visa requirements have changed. Usually, as a United States passport holder, I don't have a terrible lot of issues with visa because a lot of countries I go to, I can get visa on arrival. However, now there's a lot of countries that demand visa filing prior. I was quite surprised and almost missed my flight when I was trying to go to Australia and learned that I had to file an e visa prior to getting onto the plane. So visa considerations are one thing, but vaccine requirements are something that I didn't realize is a thing now. So recently, I went to Brazil. Which you know, it's fine. It's I checked with the travel nurse, and he said, "Oh, we recommend a yellow fever vaccine." However, because I was talking to the travel nurse too close to my travel date, they decided that I didn't need to get it because it wouldn't be effective. It takes about three weeks for the vaccine to be effective, so I basically just ended up skipping it, and I went on my way to Brazil. However, that wasn't going to be an issue if I just went to Brazil and came back to the United States. However, it was an issue when I went to my following country, which was Colombia. Now I found out Central America pretty much requires anyone traveling from, I believe, what they said was the Congo region, which included Brazil, needed to show proof of yellow fever vaccine. I did not have proof of yellow fever vaccine because I skipped it. So now I'm sitting there at the airport when I was trying to leave Brazil, and I could not provide documentation of that. Luckily, the airline I was traveling on that day, Avianca, kicked me off the flight because I had insufficient documentation. They said you could just get on, but you'll be stuck and you'll be sent away. So they basically said, "Well, so we're doing you a favor and not letting you on," but they were actually pretty nice about it, and they actually waived the transfer fee and gave me a travel voucher for that ticket, and due to reason of insufficient documentation. And now I'm standing in Brazil, thinking to myself, "Oh my God, I don't know what to do." Well, luckily there are always a way to get out of situations. Turns out, what I had to do was go to another country that would that did not have a yellow fever requirement. And in my situation, I decided to go to Peru for 12 hours because from there I went to Peru, and from Peru I did not need a yellow fever vaccination proof to go to Colombia. So I ended up making a 12-hour layover, which I arrived at in the middle of the night. So all I could do was go out to the bar, get something to drink, and say, "Hey, I've been to Peru. Whoop, whoop, be do." And I, after that, I jumped onto a flight next morning and went on my way to Colombia. But taking this into consideration, in the future when I do travel to another country, it's good to travel、uh, to get some confirmation from your travel nurse before you jump on the flight. And that vaccine may actually be necessary. Well, if you like my stories, please like and subscribe, and come back next week for a new episode. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Safe travels.